Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Daniel from Second Chance Love and I hope that you are all doing well today. Thank you so much for stopping by to my channel and if you are new and a new subscriber, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and I am back with a thrift haul this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and give Halloween a little mini break, but I am still looking for countless goodies to show you guys. So that will be coming up in the next video. So I wanted to go ahead and actually show you how you can absolutely thrift for your own coffee bar items. So with the exception of maybe one or two things on my pile of today's haul, um, those were new. And I'll tell you guys why those were new uh, when I get to that item. But I am going to go ahead and show you guys this amazing thrift haul. And these are all items from various stores like Goodwill. Um, that's always like my to-go-to store. And also um, Savers. Um, and I think also uh, Salvation Army. So I have a few goodies to show you. And not necessarily all these items are going to be incorporated into my coffee bar but i just thought that they were perfect to show you on today's haul as inspiration that it could eventually be used in a coffee bar area but i'm not too sure i'm still going to be playing around with what i want in my coffee bar area and i am actually getting this coffee bar set up but first i'm going to show you the haul and the thrift haul and then i'm going to show you guys the work in progress of me actually putting everything up for my coffee bar because i am very excited i did get a, a few um, requests for me to showcase how I put my Ray Dunn. And this is actually going to be the first time that I do a Ray Dunn display um, showcase because I've never actually had for Halloween any items. So I'm very, very excited to do a coffee bar Halloween Ray Dunn theme and show you guys how I set that up. Um, but for now, I'm actually going to be doing it more of a country home once. September, maybe in the middle of September hits, I'm going to go ahead and work on displaying my Radon Halloween haul up into the actual coffee bar. And this is actually the area where it's going to be. I am in my dining room and this is where I'm going to use this wall, utilize this space and showcase my coffee bar here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the items for what I found for my coffee bar so that you are able to be inspired to also go hunting and thrift for your coffee bar items. And as always, let's get those formalities out of the way. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon so you know when the next video is dropped of my weekly hauls. And if you haven't connected with me on my social media platforms and you would like to or you would like to become friends with me, you are most welcome to. And you can find me on Instagram under second underscore chance underscore love underscore. And I also have a TikTok that you're more than welcome to hit that follow button as well. And you can find me under second chance love no spaces. So again, if you guys like this video, I would love and appreciate a comment of any kind. And if you like this video, hit that like button. But as always, my philosophy goes, if you don't like what you see, that is absolutely fine. Hit that dislike button. I do not care about that. You are more than welcome to. Any like is better than none is what my philosophy goes. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start on this haul. And again, all thrifted items for a coffee bar. So fun fact guys i actually do not drink coffee i hate coffee <gasps> yes i'm gonna wait for all the gasping to stop i'm sure you're all gasping or saying what is wrong with you or omg or some of you might relate where you don't like caffeine so i don't like coffee i just don't know why i don't i just have never liked it so why am i building a coffee bar one the setup is cute uh, I want to make sure I display all my pieces and my mugs. And as you guys know, I'm a big Radon fanatic. So I have a bunch of mugs that I want to display. And my husband is actually um, a coffee drinker. So he loves coffee every morning. And, you know, when we were working at home during the pandemic, he was always making coffee and he will definitely go hard with coffee. So it's definitely going to get use out of it. And I'm also actually combining it with a tea and snack setup. So I do occasionally drink sometimes tea, but I'm not a big fan of it either. 
Um, but I'm going to be combining coffee, tea, and light snacks, you know, like granola bars and stuff like that. Just like a little cute area to set up. So the very first piece that I'm going to show you guys is actually like one of the main pieces because I definitely need this, is this amazing shelf. And it has hooks right here. It's very long absolutely stunning it has some markings you know of like prior usage uh, it's definitely a used item this is from savers i yes from savers and i got this for two dollars and 99 cents this is absolutely stunning it's so long it fits one two three four five possible mugs it just depends on the spacing. That's how you kind of have to play around with shelves. And it's absolutely beautiful. It has gold finishes on the sides at the end. And it's absolutely perfect. So this is going to go in my wall. That's going to be like the, one of the main centerpieces that's going to be holding my mugs. So I'm very excited. A lot of these are just, you know, I can just twist them so they're up like that. So that way the mugs can hang. And if you guys are in the hunt of creating your own coffee bar, I definitely recommend that you hit up any thrift store to find something like this. It's so easy and it's not a lot of money compared to if you were to buy a new one. Unless you're going for a specific look and um, you don't happen to find anything while thrifting, then you might have to take the route of buying a new one. But this definitely works for me. It does have a lot of scratches and damage, but this is absolutely perfect. It goes with my farmhouse theme. Theme, and I just think it's absolutely perfect. I all ha just have to clean it up, shine up some of the brass and the gold touches, and it will be perfect. And I cannot wait. Now, with my farmhouse decor style, that's going to gradually change into other styles depending on the season of the month. So I definitely want to incorporate a vintage slash farmhouse look. So these next two items are accessory pieces. Um, one is more for show, the other one is going to be actually utilized. So the first one is this copper pot. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so small and so cute. Now I know for a fact this, I don't think it's real because this does not pop open and I cannot twist it to see if it is. It looks like the lid does pop up, but I'm not too sure. But again, absolutely gorgeous. It's a cute little copper teapot. I found this for $4.99 at Goodwill. And it's absolutely so adorable. It reminds me of like the Alice in Wonderland spouts with the Mad Tea Hatter. The Mad Hatter, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Hello, Disney, lo Disney knowledge. I should know. Um, so this is so adorable. I absolutely love it. It's such a cute decorative piece and it's going to definitely make a statement. It's so stinking adorable and cute. And the next item that I want to show you guys is going to actually be for something that I'm going to use. So I found this really cute vintage Coca-Cola straw holder. So it's made out of glass and it has the canister part where you lift up to be able to pull out a straw. So I did mention that I'm going to be making this into a drink bar as well. So I'm going to incorporate some light drinks like, you know, soda or stuff like that, or water, um, water bottles. So I wanna make sure I have straws available. I always like using straws, especially when it comes to soda drinks because you don't wanna get any of the yuckiness on your teeth because it creates staining just like tea does as well as tea. Um, but you don't really drink tea with a straw. Um, but I thought this was absolutely adorable. I found this at Goodwill. It was $2.99. It's absolutely vintage. I believe it's from, yes, 1992 is this item, a year after I was born. Um, so I thought it was absolutely adorable. Again, very vintage feel, Coca-Cola. I love Coca-Cola. And I just had to grab it. It's perfect and it will fit well with my space. Now, just as a reminder, I'm not going to be utilizing every item that I'm showing you in my coffee bar, but I just wanted to show you guys because they're absolutely perfect. They go with like the theme of like having them in a coffee bar, but I just don't know yet if I'm going to actually utilize them. So of course you guys know your fairy god fairy thrift godmother sorry i'm still getting used to the title your fairy god 
oh, your fairy thrift godmother. Oh my gosh, help me guys. Found some radon. If you guys always know, I find a lot of radon items while thrifting in Orange County here in California. So I found this really cute sign. It says freshly baked. And this was $2.99 at Goodwill. And it's actually still brand new. You can see it in the back. It has the store tag covered up by the Goodwill. So this was originally $10 and it's still brand new. So $10 and I scored it for $3. Now I could probably see why there's, it looks like it's damaged, but you can't really tell. I mean, that looks like the tone of the wood. Um, I don't know what you guys think. It kind of reminds me of water damage, but there's nothing absolutely wrong with this. Maybe it just didn't sell or I, I have no idea. But this is absolutely cute for like a coffee bar area, you know, freshly baked. If you are a baker, if you have, you know, you want to incorporate cookies or brownies or anything like that into your coffee bar area, then something like that would be very adorable. I also did find some mugs that I wanted to share with you guys. I always find mugs and so cheap, like for real. I found this one, Wake Up Goodwill for $2.99 and absolutely adorable, perfect again for coffee bar, wake up. That's like the very first thing you do when you wake up in the morning is get coffee. And then I also found this cute one, it says Jitterbug. And this one was $1.99, absolutely so cute. And the last one is Harmony. So this one is adorable too. I got this one at Salvation Army for $1.99. So lovely additions. Of course, you know, Ray Dunn is one of my favorite items. I am currently hunting for Halloween items, which is a very hot topic because they run off the shelves whenever you go to the store you may not find something you might or you might not but don't give up guys definitely keep trying you know to find your isos and if you don't know what that means it means in seek of so whatever you're seeking and don't give up definitely keep trying hit up those stores you know throughout different periods of the day to check them out and see if you can score some halloween items now my next two items are in the forms of canisters so this is actually a new item but i'm sure you guys have seen these and a lot of people went crazy for them because they are available at target they still might be i believe they actually just released a black one possibly for the you know halloween coming around the corner but a lot of people were going crazy for these gumball machine canisters so this is ceramic it's absolutely adorable and i can understand why people are going crazy for these these are so cute it has glass, a uh, open lid that you can pop open and close back in. It resembles a gumball machine. It has the little dial for you to like turn like everything, all the little details in the ceramic. It says 25 cents. And this was from Target at for three dollars. So not only is this really cute and perfect for like a farmhouse decor style, but the price. How can you not, you know, with just it costing three dollars how could you not purchase this so a lot of people have been going crazy for these i have two that i found at target and i it was so crazy i actually found one at goodwill so i bought another one so i have a total of three now so i, I couldn't believe that it was at goodwill because they're brand new items so i don't know why they were there it might have been because it was a little damaged and i could understand why they would consider it salvage um but i actually got it for a dollar cheaper at goodwill so that was absolutely an amazing find and the next one is another ray dunn piece that's absolutely adorable and this actually goes with farmhouse style and perfect for a coffee bar because it has the word treats so it's a mini canister absolutely gorgeous i have seen this style before in other canisters and i believe mugs as well with this like um checkered blue and white square tone all around the canister it's absolutely cute so this is like a baby canister it's small and here is the word treats the lid and i got this at goodwill for 2 dollars and i believe it's definitely still brand new it still has the clearance tag stickers which is five dollars it even has the original price tag underneath all of that gunk 
of tags. So again, got this for $2.99 and it's very, very adorable. And I can definitely see myself utilizing this in my coffee bar area, especially if I wanna put some treats inside here. Now, another ceramic tray that I have is uh, a magenta piece. So magenta um, makes their own line of products as well. They don't, also, they don't only manufacture um, Ray Dunn stuff, so they have their own line. So I actually found this really vintage piece. I believe that it's very vintage. If you guys know what this is or if you've seen this collection line, let me know in the comments below. So it's just like those regular, you know, basic ceramic trays like they do with Ray Dunn. Um, it's elongated and you can put like stuff in it, like trinkets mostly. And this is it. It says enjoy. I found this at some Savers, I'm sorry, Savers for $4.99. And I believe it is vintage because of the stamping on the back. All it says is Magenta Incorporated. And I have found another item like this, a mug, that also says Magenta Incorporated. And I've seen the stamp um, variations online that uh, I saw someone post about. And I believe this is like, like a very vintage piece. I'm um, not entirely sure, but I think it definitely is like backdating to like maybe the first few pieces they released. I mean, I could be totally wrong. Don't quote me on that, but I absolutely thought it was cute. Enjoy. Very simple and plain, but perfect for a coffee bar area. If you want to put something on here, um, you know, anything to put on, whatever you want to look for, like a ceramic piece. So I thought this was absolutely cute and it was $5. Not too bad for the price. Um... These tend to go maybe a lot more, especially if it's Ray Dunn. Sometimes you find them like even at Goodwill for like um, $8, $8 or more. And I believe like in store, they're like $16, possibly a little bit more. I'm, I don't think they're 20. I think it's like $16 maybe around there for these ceramic pieces. So it was a good price. So I would absolutely love to hear from you guys. Um, if you have your own coffee bar or you have an area that you display your, you know, your items like your Ray Dunn. I would absolutely love if you would share with me like any ideas or things like that or any situations that you run into while building your coffee bar that could save me, you know, time or stress. That would I would love and appreciate that. Um, I would take any comments or feedback on that. Um, you're more than welcome to tell me how you have your setups. I, I would love inspiration. I, I'm just so excited to get this started. And that's going to be another video as well. You guys are going to see like a timeline video of me building my coffee bar and my setup. So another good question would be is if you where have you guys found your tier trays because that's the next item i'm going to show you and i'm not too convinced that i may utilize this i may utilize it in another area and the only reason why is because of the material that it's made out of it kind of feels flimsy and it's this two tier tray that i found it's originally from target it's um from their like dollar section at the front of the store it was originally five dollars and I got it at Goodwill for $3. So I saved myself a few bucks there. And it has a handle, but I just don't think it's, I feel like it's not safe. I've already tested it with like a few Ray Dunn mugs and they don't, they don't feel like they're going to fall off, but the weight of it, especially with Ray Dunn mugs, as you guys know, they are heavy. So, it doesn't create any seamless problem, but I feel that it might be a little crazy to put so many. Like I would probably only put at a max, maybe like one at the top and two at the bottom. So that way the weight is distributed more towards the bottom, but it kind of feels very flimsy. It doesn't, it's not made out of like, like really tough metal as you guys can hear. It's very like, dinky and clanky so it doesn't really like I feel like it's not very supportive um so I'm definitely on the hunt I know you can find them like at Hobby Lobby and other stores like that and especially home goods but they are very expensive I feel so that's why I've been waiting to see if I could find them thrifted like I did with this one um I know that they can, they can go for like 20 or 30 dollars in store that are brand new so i kind of want to see if i can hunt out something during um while i thrift so i think i might continue thrifting but i would definitely love and appreciate you guys um giving me any feedback as far as like where have you purchased your um your trays for your display 
and I know that I can go to like Hobby Lobby, I can use the coupon there, Michael's as well, so that also might definitely save me some bucks and definitely will save you guys as well, so make sure you always take advantage of those coupons. So I, again, let me know in the comments below. I would love and appreciate any feedback for my coffee bar. Now, for my last piece, it's the newest piece that I have. So this is the new piece that I told you guys is not 100% completely thrifted. All these items are except for the gumball machine um, and this sign that I'm about to show you. So I was going for the longest. That's why it took me so long to make this haul video because I was in the hunt at various Goodwill stores or Savers or Salvation Army trying to find a coffee bar sign or any type of sign that said coffee or anything like that. So I literally spent like weeks, weeks, weeks hunting down a sign because I know that I could buy it on the low cost and a lot of the signs I know in store were expensive. So I decided to finally, finally give up because I had no luck. I had seriously no luck in finding any sign. And I know I could have bought in a sign and repurposed it, um, but it's just, I felt it was going to be too much work for me. And I don't really have like a, a Cricut to print vinyl out, you know, vinyl stickers or signs. So I'm just like, no, I'll just go ahead and give in to buying a new sign. So I went ahead and went to Home Goods, and I actually am very, very surprised that I found some very, very affordable signs, and I ended up choosing the one that I'm going to show you guys. So I wanted to have a sign over my wall that everyone could see that it's obviously like a coffee bar, but I didn't want it to say coffee bar necessarily. I wanted it to be something cute, like a cute meaning. So I found this one and it's absolutely gorgeous. It goes again with my farmhouse look. This was for $4.99. So not a bad price at all because I know for a fact if I would have found something like this at Goodwill, I'm pretty sure I would have been paying the same price. So again, this is from Home Goods, and it's like in a black brown tone with like chalk lettering. I know it's so, it looks chalkish, but it's actually just paint that was you know probably air sprayed with like a template. Um, and it says "Love is Brewing." So this is absolutely perfect. I thought this is just perfect for my coffee bar and it says love is brewing. So I thought it was absolutely so adorable. It went with like me and my husband and how we are so in love and la 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 la. You know, you guys know what I mean. It's absolutely adorable and I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Perfect for my coffee bar. So I am very excited to get this project started so I can definitely have it down now and have my items displayed out before I have to switch it out for Halloween. But I'm also very excited to do that layout when Halloween comes closer so I can display out my Ray Dunn mugs, my Ray Dunn finds. And again, I am so happy and excited. And thank you so much, you guys, for keeping, you know, keep watching my videos and commenting and giving me likes. I just appreciate every single comment and I love reading them and replying back to you. It really gives me a feel of getting to know you all individually a little bit more. And I absolutely enjoy hearing your Ray Dunn stories. So keep them coming. Okay, my lovelies, so that is the end of today's haul. Again, this is all thrifted items with the exception of two pieces for a potential coffee bar area that I'm going to be building. So I am very excited. And thank you so much for watching as always and stopping into my channel. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Make sure to check me out on my social media platforms on Instagram and as well as TikTok. You're more than welcome to follow me there if you'd love to. And again, make sure you hit the like video if you liked it. If you didn't like what you saw, that's absolutely fine, lovely. Just go ahead and hit the dislike button and that's absolutely fine. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for stopping by to today's video. And until next time, mwah, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love. May this video find you all well. Bye!